please welcome Dan Fogelman. Welcome to the Mandy Moore Roast. That's what this is, right? I didn't know if I should go roast or funeral, so I'm kind of split the difference. What can I say about Mandy Moore that has not already been said? How about this? She is a monster. She is the worst person I know. She is Dr. Evil with a better haircut. She is Darth Vader with a better publicist. She is the worst person I have ever met. <laughs> but sure, let's put her name on a star. <laughs> if a few drunk people standing outside of Mancini's theater pee on it, it's all good. All right. Now, I have, uh, I have almost a decade on Mandy, um, so I have to admit her early mi music career, I, I missed some of it. Um, I do not know the lyrics to Candy by heart. I did look them up, however. It's like candy, I can feel it when you walk. Even when you talk, it takes over me. You're so dandy. I wanna, I wanna know, can you feel it too, just like I do, who? Mm -hmm. <laughs> At 15 years old, Amanda Lee Moore managed to take the word candy, rhyme it with dandy, and turn it into a pop music hit. And if that does not deserve a star on the Walk of Fame, I don't know what does. I, um, I first got to know Mandy working on the film Tangled, which I wrote. Um, the directors did most of the work with her, but I do remember hearing her voice for the first time in the film, Two Picture, and thinking about how pure there was, there was something so pure in her voice and something so sweet. Uh, there's a reason that Mandy for so many years has gotten typecast in America's Sweetheart type roles. It is because she is one. Um, sorry. Uh, this Is Us was a game-changing moment for both of us, um, but for me, one of the most exciting parts has been watching our community and the world at large recognize Mandy's unbelievable, extraordinary talent. Uh, I, have, I have had the good fortune in my life to uh, be in rooms with some of the greats, and I would comfortably put Mandy on a stage with any of them and watch her blow them away. Um, she is a paradox. She has the talent of one of our great character actors, but the face of an old time movie star. She is an Instagram influencer of millions of the most sought after demographic, but she goes to bed every night at like 7.30 p.m. <laughs> like literally, that's why she looks so good. That's the trick. During the 5 a.m. filming of our biggest episode ever of the show, as Milo was running in and out of a house saving a dog from a fire, I found Mandy sitting by herself in a heater reading Joan Didion's new novel. <laughs> she is kind, politically engaged, socially conscious. She is the rare celebrity who finds fame so early in life and remains completely normal. It's like her and Winnie Cooper from The Wonder Years, that's the list. <laughs> uh, Mandy has been blessed and cursed with a face that belongs in magazines. She was destined for a star on this sidewalk long before today, but we do her a disservice if we think of her just as a star. She is a talented force of nature, and she is just simply not messing around anymore. There is a line in the first season of the show when Jack, played by Milo, fighting for his marriage, tells Mandy that their story is just getting started. Mandy Moore's story is just getting started as well. I'm honored to be a very small part of your journey. I'm crazy about you and I hope nobody pees on your star. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay?